Howdy everybody. Welcome to, welcome to another edition of That's Railroad. Where we bring the railroad to you. And I want to show you a rail defect today and a little situation we got here in the track that we're going to have to take care of this weekend. Uh, we got some down track this weekend. They had a big roof fall underground or on top of one of their long wall belts. So uh, we've got a, we've been down for five days now. And uh, it's tough underground when you don't have much room and you can't get big equipment and they bring a miner in try to dig it out then you got to keep bolting the roof over the top over and hope more stuff doesn't fall down so we got uh, some dead track so uh i've been trying to get this done and uh let me show you what's going on here all righty we'll get turned around well this is curve 11. all right and it is an 11 degree curve and uh a lot of coal finds over in here and uh, it needs cribbed out I'm down there on curve 15 right now just uh, trying to get that finished up I actually got uh, some cribbing done today but uh, till I can get up here what we're gonna do uh, this stuff here we're, we're gonna come up here and cut this shoulder out and then I'll sweep sweep this these ends out with my uh, tamper and I made a video some time ago on uh, crib sleeping with a 6700 tamper so I'll put that in the link a link in the description so you can go watch that so this is a uh, this is what they call a crushed head it's flat and I know it's a little bit hard to see but it's flattened out here they also call it a flattened head and what also is happening is right here, the, the rail is flowing out. It's flowing out here. See that rail flow? Uh, this is not real, real bad yet, but uh, we gotta pick this up because this curve has uh, three inches of super elevation in it normally and right here at this flat spot it's about five inches so that's uh we're gonna pick that up get some good rock there on the outside and hold it up until we can get up here and get this cribbed out when that's going to be i don't know but uh works out pretty good let me see if i can find something to show you that a little better we'll see i'll be right back okay so you got a a little bit of a straight edge on there and you can see how it's dipped dipped in there okay and that just uh, very well could have originally started um, with a uh, small mill defect uh, an impurity in the railhead from the mill and uh, because this had sunk down the pounding of the train wheels has uh, made that come out and uh, it's going to get progressively worse so we'll uh, get this rail changed out at some point I don't know if you can see it better from this side or not that, that gap under there okay you can probably see here right in here where where the it dips down a little bit like i said it's not a real bad one yet but there you go flattened head crushed head i don't think there's a whole lot of difference in the two uh flattened head may the correct terminology may mean it's a little bit of a longer expanse i'm really not sure on that okay very good we'll be back with more show you how we fix this up all right, what we're gonna do is cut this whole shoulder out over here. I'm gonna come over here and sweep all the ends of the cribs out. Man, I think I got it up to this orange mark here. I get out of his way. I'm gonna hit. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that. I'm walking. This is 
just a temporary fix till we can get up here and crib it out right. Okay. Gonna be a little bit slow. I just have to figure it out. Yep. Yeah. Good mouth. Get some a good bit of this stuff out of here. Yeah. Dump some new rock in here and tamper up. And that'll be pretty good until we get up here and get it cribbed out. bad job for a tamper that'll be great get this fixed up clean this uh, up here get it uh, dumped here with rock pick this low spot up okay shame I can't get in the middle with the tamper but I can't we'll get up here with the excavator and crib that out right all righty here comes the regular I gotta get out of the way okay very good Hey, we got rock coming. 3098. Get off to the side here. Got a little bit of rough track down there where he's just going over too. We'll have to get that taken care of here when we're up here cribbing. Okay, let's get up here and dump some rock. I'm gonna have to put you down for a little bit, for a minute here, till I uh, climb up in here. All right, hold on. We'll be back. All right, we're back up here. Okay, Mr. Uh, Jerry, go ahead and uh, take it towards the uh, west. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but the head being weak like that, and I said there must be a, uh, this is obviously a soft spot in there. Obviously, was, it caused that head to flatten out. Uh, we are gonna be able to put a joint bar on it for now until we can get up here and get this rail changed. Uh, we're wanting to run a train tonight, so I don't have a lot of time and I don't get a pump for my hydraulic. My uh, high rail truck has a bad seal and it won't pick, currently pick a rail up. It doesn't have enough pump. The leaking's really bad. So, we'll have to make a temporary fix until we get a rail in here. And get my truck fixed. All right. That's, uh, have it. See that? Looks like you can see the little, the little uh, growth in there. A little dirty. Kind of hard to see. But you can uh, see that. Right here. All stuff. Okay, 
now that they own the railroad. Well, okay. We got a repair made. Temporary. Got a joint bar in it. Here's the little plugs that uh, the rail drilled through. Now, I, we had to wait for uh, a couple guys to get on at the harbor with the high rail truck, bring the rail drill up here. I was up track uh, tamping, and they uh, they got this fixed up here. So uh, that'll that'll keep it safe there for a little while. Uh, until we get this changed out, I uh, wanted to show you something, too. This uh, piece right here. See how that's cut, cut out? That's called spalling. It was a little more pronounced with that chip in there, but uh, didn't show you that in the first part of the clip. But that is spalling, where that comes out of there. Uh, the head starts separating. Alrighty. Uh, well, also, I've got uh, got this picked up pretty good. I told you it was 5 inches, and we're now up there to a little over 3 inches. Uh, about three and a quarter inches, so that's pretty doggone good. And the, uh, it's uh, three inches up there and right behind me. So we're going to let the train run over this for about a week. And then we'll come back up here next week and revisit. One, <laughs> one thing I wanted to tell you. Um, when I got up on the ballast car there, I was uh, set my phone down on the deck. And it was still on video mode. So I got over there and I started dumping all this ballast and I was thought I was videoing it dumping but apparently when I set it down this uh, Mr. Super Sensitive Phone decided to change everything over to photo mode. So I didn't get to see show me actually dumping the ballast. But what we're going to do here uh, somewhere right about in here or the next one I'm going to cut that rail. Okay, and then I'm going to put a good piece of relay rail in. I'm going to get rid of that joint up there. And going up there, we'll have a uh, 39 foot worth from this cut back here. So we'll get rid of that joint and then we'll weld that end in. And we will weld this end in. And we'll get rid of all of this and that joint because that joint up there has got, uh, got a little chip coming out of it also. So we'll eliminate this. I don't know when we're going to get to it, but it uh, depends on the availability of the welders. We'll have to make a call this week because this is uh, this is on a Sunday, so we'll make a call this week and find out what's going on. Alrighty. Well, I got the rest of the curve tamped, and I got up there at curve 8 tamped and uh, today, and uh, the tangent up to curve 10 there the other day. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to uh, thank you very much for watching the Hey, uh, this is the, I was trying to figure, uh, while I was uh, waiting there, I think this is the sixth rail I've broken in 18 years with the tamper. Uh, it happens. We're lucky. We're really lucky that it happened, me breaking it, instead of having a train come down here and uh, breaking it then. So we found it. We're going to get it fixed up. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We uh, really do appreciate it, and uh, happy rails to you until we meet again. It's been good to have you with us.